and the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part, you can't even passively take part, and you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. mammalian prefrontal cortex. Eating a pig or a cow is no different than eating me, than eating that dog, than eating yourself, the very meat you are made of. These are innocent beings who have done nothing to you. The least you can do is return the favor. Yet we treat animals worse than our worst criminals. Every single chicken, free range or not, is living in square eight by 11 their entire life. Imagine living on an iPad, never seeing the sun, standing in your own shit your entire life for five minutes of sensory pleasure, which is unnecessary. Ask Harvard, ask Oxford, ask the true Canadian North Health Center, ask any credentialized practitioner in nutrition dietetics, like the largest cohort of Academy of Nutrition Dietetics USA Britain, over 100,000. Credentialized practitioners specializing in nutrition dietetics who have studied a lifetime on this. You are an herbivore. When you eat animals, you die. That is why the top 15 leading killers of human beings are avoided by going vegan. I'm nearly 40. I don't worry about heart disease, stroke, hypertension, asthma, osteoporosis, bone fractures. I don't waste my money on pills, on medicine, on doctors. The whole system is designed Keep you enslaved. You break out of it when you get in touch with who you are. Being vegan is about walking the compassionate talk that we are always talking about. It's about leaving your mark on this planet by causing the least amount of harm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 